Hey everybody. So we are out trapping. It is Tuesday before Thanksgiving and I got a fishing video up and now I'm going to get out a few beaver trapping videos. I'm going to try anyway. I got two or three huts that I'm going to set up this week so those will all be separate videos. But I'm chasing the Thanksgiving beaver. Yep, the beaver that keeps on giving. Trying to get one to fix for my family for Thanksgiving because I do every year and if I set up three lodges today I am about 99.9% .9 um, ch chance of getting one. But anyway I'm going to run this scenario down with you a little bit. There's a beaver lodge right there, a very small, or there's a beaver feed pile right there, a very tiny beaver lodge there that has been there for a long time. They put some mud on it. There's probably a run going into it somewhere, but I really couldn't find one and I'm not going to spend, uh, you know, a lot of time looking for one. But you'll see there's a bank den behind that one and there's a really nice bank den right here. I went over there and just checked it out, but you can see this is wide open right here all the way up to the bank. A lot of activity. And then there's another bank den that we're going to set up over here first. Um, not a lot of sticks available along here, so I'm most likely going to set 1H stand and um, probably just spread the springs out on the other two, you know, and put a stick through the end of each one. But I'll get here, we're, we're over to Beaver Lodge quick, I'll show you what that's looking like. So there's the feed pile. There is this very small hut. You can see they mudded the top up there, so I'm assuming they have a hole somewhere, but I've... I mean, I'm chopped everywhere. Unless the hole is out here somewhere sunk in this feed pile, we're not going to set it up. But there's a really nice shallow bank den back there that I'm sure we're going to hammer a beaver on. Anyway, let's get to setting some traps so we can get to the other spots. All right, we're going to put one trap in back here. I had to kind of sneak in because this early, this early ice stuff is kind of tough. So right there, we got a bank den. There's a that tiny house is right there. And the feed pile's right there. I, there must be run that house, but I just I just couldn't find it. So I'm limited on sticks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slip a uh, I think I'm gonna try to slip an inch stand in here. Real quick like. A lot of you guys have probably seen me set an H stand before. But that's what an H stand looks like. They're really Simple to set, even though I don't like using them. I use them. Everybody knows I don't like using them, but I use them when I don't have sticks. Or if I, you know, if it's a hard bottom run, I prefer having my trap right on the bottom, and an H stand doesn't do that. No matter what you do with an H stand, unless you know, because you have. With an H stand, you put your trap on, the bottom jaw sits here. So if you have a hard bottom, your jaw is sitting at least two and a half inches off the bottom. And if that beaver's coming hugging bottom, and he hits that bar on the bottom of the H stand, he'll go up and he will literally spring your trap. This one here is kind of a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard, hard bottom run here. But it's not like rock hard where I think that they are nose to the bottom coming in. Probably some muskrats in here too. So I wouldn't be surprised if we cut a muskrat. But we're just going to do this real quick. And that's the other thing I like about ice season is that I don't have to worry about beavers dragging my H stands off, you know, in the water, in the open water like this. right on your each stand here like so keep your distance respect the power of the 330 it's like one of the things I got to tell people you know even though you seem even though you see me playing with this 330 or it looks like it's super easy because I'm so familiar with them you still got to keep it away from your body and you know just in case that trap could fire there we go see what I'm talking about when I say you know, there's 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 a gap here. So if the beaver comes in and hits this, this nose and decides to climb up over this, 
as versus swimming right through it, there is a chance that that beaver is gonna spring the trap and not necessarily set it off. So, got my adjustable loop here. I'm just gonna put it on the top of my H stand, kind of tighten it up a little bit. The trap is set. I'm gonna get in the water here and kind of figure out where I wanna place this 330. I'd say right about there is the route I wanna go. I'm gonna try and get these springs straight up and down because they're hugging this bog as they go in. Okay, see that? Now I'm gonna set all my traps in the hopes the beaver are coming out because if I if I cover the majority of the run, the good chance is the first beaver that comes out is gonna be from, you know, gonna be coming out from the bank. So I got that trap in. Okay nice and level down there i can check with my foot but i didn't there we go i feel let me see here actually i'm gonna give a little twist to it there we go i feel that this trap is placed pretty good i'm actually gonna shove that bottom jaw down into the clay a little bit and that trap should be ready for a beaver got a 330 right here Now, I'm not necessarily worried that the beaver are going to take my trap away, but there is not a lot of ice on this bank then. So if I did catch a big beaver, there's a chance he could struggle a little bit and get out into the lake under the ice somewhere. And it's just something that, you know, I don't want to worry about. So, it's going to be another simple set it's not a very wide run so we're just gonna wire up our, th our triggers like this okay and let's see here this isn't exactly a super wide stick but I'm gonna use it as my stake here I'm just gonna get this trap like this down into the run shove it in the bottom you know another use reason I can use a smaller stick like that is because I know that the bottom is clay and I can get it shoved way in the bottom okay have a nice stick here to use as an anchor I'm gonna put it right over here beavers if I get a beaver, it's most likely going to be laying right here, you know, kind of the back, probably sticking out of the water, dead as a doornail. Now I'm going to swing this trap there. I'm swinging this trap back where I want it to be, just shoving it under the water a little bit, putting that swivel stick in there. Swivel stick is key. There we go. Trap. Good to go. Beaver here tomorrow. This will be another fast set, you guys. So, I'm guessing this might be their main run because there's peeled sticks in this thing already. Um, very, very shallow. There's actually a big mink trail that comes in through here as well. It goes under there. I might even set a trap there tomorrow. But, first thing I'm going to do is wire this off on this long tree branch here what I actually want to do is so you can't see but there's a tr there's a right here there's just a tree over the top of the run okay I'm gonna run this over the tree or under the tree and put my stick around it like or my cable around it like so because there's a small hole on the other side I know the beaver's not going to be able to pull that stick down through that hole. <clears throat> Let's see here. You know what I hate? When I got to do that. Springs get around the triggers and stuff. Yeah. If I had to guess, I mean, this trap 
and my second trap are gonna be like the major producers. Those seem like the best runs. And not to mention, they don't have an H stand on them. Okay, wire up your safeties really quick. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Taking the gloves off because I need to put this in the water. <clears throat> and now just remember, this trap is literally getting set like that in the water. Stick through each side here, guys. I'm just gonna find the center of it quick. Pretty easy. It's not 20 below out yet, so I can I can do this and not like freeze my hands off. That trap is perfectly centered now, right in the middle of that run. Stick on this side. See here. Oh yeah, that's good. Stick on this side. We're ready for beaver, you guys. Tomorrow we're going to have fur floating right here. I guarantee it. But, so, back to check this lodge. Um, set three, three traps on yesterday. Got my buddy Ronnie with. Ronnie's got bad luck. Every time he goes trapping with me, he falls in. We walked off the shore and he fell in. It's just bad luck. But we got three traps in here yesterday. And uh, hopefully we got some beaver today. There's, so there's a bank den, there's a bank den that runs in here and there. <laughs> I mean, you can follow these tracks. There's no guarantees though. Okay. So I got my, there's an H stand right here, but I don't see any. I don't see any crazy activity on it though. Ah, I think it's sprung. Sprung with nothing in it maybe. I told you guys I don't like eight sands. Sprung with nothing in it. Ugh. All right, well, we're coming back to that. I'm gonna reset that without the H stand. Now you see, H stands are just bad, you guys. Next two sets are sticks. They don't have H stands, so there's a good chance we're gonna catch something. All right, so we gotta we got a wide, there's a wide, there's a wide open bank den right here. Oh, I think, I think I see a big old hump of fur floating back here, you guys, or something. I think there is. How good's your vision, Ronnie? Pretty good? Yeah. We'll have to Ronnie take a look. I'm 20, 20 now. So Are you? Yeah. Is there a, see it? Is that a beaver sticking out of the water right there? I see fur. Okay, or there's something sticking out of the water back there. Wide open bank den coming in through here. We'll go back and see what we got. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, there's definitely a beaver in that trap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yeah, head catch it looks like too. All right. <laughs> Caught that one last night sometime because it all froze around it. All right. So, got our steak, got our swivel stick, got our beaver. Oh yeah, that's a big beaver too. Nice beaver. Woo. That's a blanket. 
What are the chances we got another one in the next set, you think, guys? And we did get this guy coming out. Coming out of the run. There we go. Nice shoulder catch on that. That's kind of a light beeper too. Should be a nice fast reset on this trap. Like I said, if you got a couple sticks, simple and deadly they are. down like that this one here wired off like so get this guy right back in where it was before like that wham bam ready for another beaver there's that beaver that is gonna make a blanket but I think I've showed you guys before, but you can take these beaver and literally rub them around on the snow like this. And it's kind of neat because it dries them off really nicely, you know. Look at that. Big tail, big beaver. All right, we're going to go down, check this other bank den, and hopefully connect on another beaver. I don't know what's going on here I don't see beaver anywhere but I also don't is that my stick up there huh I don't know you guys I don't know what's going on here we're gonna we're gonna find out though real fast okay There's a swell, it's one of my sticks. I think I smell caster. Do I got one in here? Something in here? Oh yeah. There's some weight there. There is some weight there. Oh, for sure. Oh. There's something here? Oh, big beaver right by the head. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going down. Look at that head catch, you guys, on that beaver. Isn't that beautiful? Head catch on a big beaver. So, H stand, nothing. Good old fashioned sticks, double. Oh, big beaver, look at that. Old warrior, missing chunk of its tail. Wow, that is awesome. Two for two on our bank dent here. Um, yeah, I'll pull it out and reset it quick. Perfect head catch. Ugh. Looks like we're not gonna be running low on Christmas beaver, I mean Thanksgiving beavers. Okay. Why didn't I bring the sled? <laughs> if I don't bring the sled, I know I catch beaver. Lord knows I'm probably gonna go into cardiac arrest carrying them both back, but that's the nature of the beast. All right, 
this was a this was a ideal trap right here just get it right back in the center of that run again right where i want it to be that side's in both sides are in we are good to go you guys good to go nice big beaver i'm going to dry this one off we'll take a last look all right got a couple a beautiful beaver here you guys thanksgiving beavers to be exact that one's a little bit rustier color than this one but no sticks two beaver eight stand no beaver that's now you know why i don't like eight stands i know they work i use them but i complain about them anyway that might have been the only two beaver in here. I don't know. I'm going to reset this trap over here, and we'll be back tomorrow. Um, if there's nothing in here tomorrow, we're pulling them. We'll see you then. Yo, what is up? We're back for another check on this beaver lodge. Um, caught two beaver, two big beaver, day number one. Um, I have checked it since, and... Did not get any more beaver. So I am under the impression that I caught the only two beaver in here, but we're gonna find out. Well, nothing in the first trap. Hey, this trap is sprung. There's something in it. I'm, I'm just gonna guess it's a muskrat because Mink would be nice even. Uh, there's spring, I, uh, there's spring, I've seen fur in, so I don't know what it is. It is, it is a muskrat, you guys, look at that. It's a big rat though. Nice big rat, look at that. Got him by the tail. Got him by the tail. So it was not that it, or this this check was not all for nothing because we did catch a muskrat. <laughs> we still have a trap left down here. Actually a pretty nice stick here. I'm gonna bring this one with us too. Actually, we're gonna chop it in half right here and bring that part with us right there. <clears throat> oh, and we got, we got something. Still set. Is all it took. It's these two beaver here. I, I kind of thought it was gonna be a family, but it was just one night. Two beaver, one night stand. That's all it took. These beaver are history, you guys. So that's pretty sweet, getting them on both of the first night. Did, did, did get that bonus muskrat. So yeah, got some ice fishing videos coming up. Um, it's been, the weather's been hit and miss here in Minnesota. We've got ice, but it, it gets up to 35, 38 every day. Freezes again overnight, so you know, we're getting some stuff out, but we're not gonna be able to get crazy until after we get some more safe ice. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed another beaver trap video. Peace out.